modalities of infertility management. So, which are the modalities by which we can treat the infertile couples from basic to advanced? So, start from the basic is the planned relation. So, next one is the intrauterine insemination that is called as the IUI. If not consumed the IUI, there is an IVF procedure that is called as in vitro fertilization. So, there are a number of modalities in IVF by which we can treat the infertile couples like ICC intracytoplasmic sperm injection, MC intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection, PICC physiological intracytoplasmic sperm injection, blastocyst embryo transfer, sequential embryo transfer, laser assisted hatching, sperm retrieval techniques. When there is azoospermia, we can retrieve the sperm with the help of PISA, TISA. Micro TSA, TSA. So these are the methods by which we can retrieve the sperm. Then next one is a cryopreservation. So cryopreservation of the oocytes, embryos, spermatozoa, testicular or ovary tissue. So we can cryopreserve this tissue at minus 196 degree temperature. So next modality is the frozen embryo transfer. So now routinely we don't do the normal embryo transfer. We do the freeze all embryos and then in natural cycles we do the frozen embryo transfer. Embryoscope by which we can see the normal dividing embryo and that we can do the transfer of that embryo. So in case of multiple IVF failures, we can go ahead with the endometrial receptivity array, lymphocyte immune therapy and in case of there is a problem in the oocytes or there is a menopause in that condition we can go ahead with the oocyte donation. If there is a menopause or the premature ovarian failure, primary ovarian failure or in, along with the testicular azospermia, we can go ahead with the embryo donation also. So next modality is a donation program. So in that we can go ahead with the oocyte donation, embryo donation and sperm donation. Then the advanced management in infertility that is a PGD, PGS and PGTA. So by which we can come to know the genetic problematic embryo and we can do the transfer of good quality of embryo. So next one is a stem cell therapy. So when there is a Asherman syndrome, we can use the stem cell therapy and we can regenerate the endometrium also. So along with that, UHG guided invasive procedures and fertility enhancing laparohistoscopy. These are the many more modalities by which we can treat the infertile couple in a very well manner and get a very good success rate for those couples. Mm -hmm.